a little quick cold start on her. Oh my God, it's gonna be extremely loud, guys. And again, this only has a mid muffler delete. Again, did the lower end springs one and a half inch in the front, two inches in the rear. To take her for a little drive right now. Uh, again, she was under surgery late last night. Well, late, the surgery went late into late, uh, late last night, about seven hours. Uh, one of the reasons it took seven hours to be fair is, you know, I just didn't have some of the tools that I needed to go, that I needed for, for the work itself. So I went to my local Lowe's and actually got a torque wrench that literally helped me. She already just, just feels, I don't know what it is, but the rake on the car makes it feel, gives the pitch such an extremely much lower. I'm gonna have to take her at an angle. There's no way without an angle, All right? Let's see if she scrapes. All right, so far so good. She was able to take the angle, which is awesome. All right, why are my windows down on my car? Huh, sorry, that's my uh, Chevrolet Bolt that I daily drive. All right, so uh, here we go on her main voyage. After uh, I went ahead and did the quick drop, I'll go ahead and also roll down the windows. It's uh, Christmas day with a whopping 69 degrees. Uh, no issues whatsoever. I make sure that as I put everything back together, I torqued everything back to spec. So far, she feels really good. I'll probably put another maybe two, 300 miles on her before uh, I go do an alignment, maybe 500 miles, uh, do an alignment on her. That I'll take it to the shop. I'm not gonna, uh, yeah, your boy ain't gonna get crazy with that. I ain't about to mess with that. Ain't nobody got time to be messing around with no alignment. First of all, I don't have the tools uh, and I, I'm not familiar with an alignment. I don't wanna be familiar with an alignment. I made a video between uh, my Hellcat comparing the transmission of my Hellcat compared to the transmission of the Camaro ZL1, which I previously owned before this car, 1LE. And I still think that the transmission, this damn ZF, especially on the Hellcat, the way they tuned it, I, I don't think you can find a better tune and I, I honestly don't think you can find a better transmission than the ZF transmission that's used on a multitude of cars by the way not not just the Camaro uh, I mean not just on the Challenger excuse me uh, the Camaro uses a 10 speed if you go with the automatic but this is a I, just the way the gears kick in and shift is just uh, I just think it's a, a much better transmission. So, you know what, let me let me turn off the AC here. Let me roll down this window a little bit. And uh, we're gonna open her up a little bit just to hear that exhaust. We might hear a little bit of wind because that window that you're on, on that side right now is, um, that's where you're on. I don't wanna drop you there, so. Let me let that car get ahead of me. I don't want it to, uh, I don't want to disturb the peace. This, this trans, I mean, this suspension is just awesome. God, yeah, buddy. Woo 
scat pack like I do in regards that includes these lowering springs that I know of. I think there's a couple of people that have posted a couple of videos doing the work, but I don't think that nobody has actually posted videos of a good amount of side profiles after the work is complete. And so I'm gonna try to go into this little park here and uh, put her in an angle that demonstrates all her qualities. That makes, oh shit, oh Jesus, it's picking up rocks off the ground. Don't want none of that. Don't want no rocks off the ground. So I think this will work over here. Man, the, I didn't know these tires were that sticky. I guess they are. Had the car for about a month and it has about 500 miles on her so far, so. Let's see how she looks from the outside, boys. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try to get down low. No rubbing, by the way, in case you guys just, you know, think that it is a car rubbing, it's not. So you can see the back still sits a little higher. I mean, I could fit a whole hand in there, but now it's only about three fingers. Um, look at that front end though, it has a beautiful rake now. Again, no rubbing. Try this view, this angle. Could probably put one finger in here. Yep, one finger easily. No rubbing, no scrubbing. Looks good with the tent. Oh yeah, she sits so much nicer now. This is the dark side of the moon, right? Can't see much on this side because of the sun, but it's a great shot. Nice little sun. Just sits so much better now. A good, nice little front view. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, so we're back in the car. And uh, what do you guys think? She looking good? I think she looks fantastic. So the job took me a little bit longer than, you know, most people it would probably take. Again, I didn't have the proper tools. And here's the thing is there was a local shop that was willing to do the work for the both the front and the rear with parts included, by the way. It was a Christmas, Black Friday special, sorry. It was for uh, Black Friday. And their special was basically that they would install the Eibach Sportline, both the front and the rear, with work and with la again with labor for $500. Most people would probably jump on that deal, right? And I, I really thought about it. I'm like, wow, that's, that's pretty strong because I did shop around, guys, and most shops wanted to charge around $700 to $800 uh, with parts and labor. And this, this, these guys were the best. And it's a local shop here. It's called Mod. Uh, I hope I don't get the wrong the name. It's here in Houston, off of Springs. I want to say it's called Mod Fix or Mod FX. And if I got the wrong name, guys, I, I apologize to those folks. But uh, I'll make sure to put it in the description just in case. Uh, hold on. Let me put her back in uh, track mode. I can't have none of this uh, eco mode. Mm -mm. Is it on? Yep, there we go. All right. All right, let's see. We're gonna take this nice little tight turn here. Let's see how she does it. She sits good. Oh yeah, yeah, buddy. And uh, again, they were charging 500 bucks. And I thought it was a fantastic deal to, to, to do that type of job. Um, I've never done this job myself. And so, you know, some of some folks might say, you should just pay that 500 bucks was a steal, but there's something about 
you know, you going out and buying the springs and then, you know, installing them yourself. There's something about it, you know. You know, is it stressful? Does it require some work and effort? And do I feel sore? Absolutely. My arms are sore, my back is sore. You know, I'm a 40 year old guy, dude, actually 41. And, you know, shit just doesn't work the way it used to anymore where, you know, it was in my 20s. I, you know, I helped a couple of people do this job. I've never done it myself where, you know, you, you get up the next morning feeling like a champ. You know, this morning, I, I just couldn't even get off the bed. I'm not even joking, guys. Uh, that could be several things. One, either I'm old or two, I'm just not, you know, I just, uh, I don't, I don't exercise like I should. And so maybe that's one of them too, right? I'm not keeping my body as mobile as maybe I should like it. I do walk every day, but I don't do strong exercise or, or go out and run laps. So that could be part of it. So that could just be a me thing. But man, I, I sure felt everything was stiff this morning. Everything hurt. But going back to it, you know, there is pride in getting your hands, you know, underneath your car and knowing that you did the job. And it feels good. It gives you a sense of accomplishment. Uh, it, it, there's some pride associated to it. And it does make you feel really good that, you know, you did this. And so that's pretty much it, guys. I feel good with, with my decision. You know, some folks might feel like it rides too low. I don't. I, I think it, the, the, the ride quality right now that I'm feeling, it just, it feels fantastic. It's not, it's not, it's not jumpy or like, you're not seeing me go like this, right? I mean, you're just not seeing me go like this and shit. It's not. It feels great. Well, that exhaust, it had that, that little back flow snap, crackle and pop. Uh, just sounds great, man. All right, let me open her up here just a little bit. buddy ah, she feels great people in the front probably think I see this driver from the front of me right now I can't point the camera that way they're like this motherfucker done gone crazy excuse my French I apologize I apologize for those type of words I want you guys to know that beautiful uh, beautiful day Christmas day uh, and I'll drop this video for you guys today so again Merry Christmas guys make sure you subscribe hit the thumbs up I'll be posting more videos. Again, the next mod I'll be doing to the car is I'm taking it to a local shop here in off of 10 in Houston. And when I get to the shop uh, later this, this Friday, and again, I'm getting the, the hood, a uh, satin or matte black, I haven't decided yet. They're very similar. And I think that's gonna again, take the car to another level. And again, all these little things I've been doing to the car is making it feel more personal. I, I cannot remember the last time I've done these many modifications on a car since my original 2010 Camaro SS that I pre-ordered back in the day when the car was, you know, on fire. I, uh, you couldn't find one. And so, it's, you, it's weird. You know, I've never done these many modifications on a car and it feels good. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, if you look at my channel on other cars, basically I just keep the cars the way they are maybe do a tent uh and that's pretty much it so again be doing that mad hood on the car i'll be doing a catch can uh, on the engine and then i think i'll be done with the car i'm not going to add any more i'm going to put a blower on it no e85 none of that mumbo jumbo and uh we'll go from there but uh you know, this car is feels real nice real nice if you're in the if you're in the market about getting a challenger wide body man she has a great look haven't come up with the name with the car for, for the car yet so i don't know if i should name her i think if i name her then it's like a pet i'm not gonna then want to you know get rid of her later Would that be a problem it's like an animal they say never name it because then it just becomes your pet right it's you i don't know if i should name her that be a problem i don't think so hey guys again peace out thanks for tuning in stay stay close to the channel appreciate the support peace out till the next one